Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mrs. Catherine, and I am the director of children's ministries here. And a lot of you have been asking about how has day camp been going, so I just wanted to update you that today. We've finished two weeks of day camp already, and I'll tell you, the kids who are coming are so excited, and they started right out of the gate really excited. So day one, on the very first day of day camp, I can't tell you, the kids were all here already, singing, jumping, praising God. It's been amazing. These kids are just so happy to be back, and we're so excited to be doing it with them. In our first week of day camp, we have seen 26 kids accept Jesus as their forever friend. And our second week, we're not sure quite yet, some of the um, little cards that the leaders fill out are coming back. Some of you might not know, but each week we do intentional conversations with each one of the children, and that's something that the core staff get to do. And it's um, a really great time that the core staff get to have one-on-one -on -one answering questions. So um, this week I had a little camper. He was really fun. He came to me and he described all, almost every single year of camp he's ever been to. Named all the directors, all the things he's done, everything. He went to his camp leader and he had fabulous questions about God and Jesus and the, the history of the Bible. And then as he was leaving camp, he turns and says... See, I'm going to be on staff next year. And I was like, oh, I love it. I, we call them our day camp fan club. So we have great campers coming. A lot of you are asking about what we still need. We do have enough bagels for the next two weeks. We don't have enough for our fifth week of camp. So if you do give some, that's awesome. We've had some great generous donations this week of bagels. But we really are in need of cookies. We have a lot of cookie monsters around. And I think some of them are our day camp leaders okay and our volunteers and so we need cookies we don't even have enough to get through this next week so if you are going shopping this afternoon or in the next little while if you could just pick us up a bag of nut free cookies that would be awesome and bring them to the church office we'd really appreciate that um, keep praying for day camp we have two more weeks and then we have a week of youth camp led by pastor andrew and then one more week of day camp it is full registrations are finished we got all our campers so we are excited about that I have another announcement. This is going to be the best day of your summer, so make sure you put on your calendar August the 14th. Everyone's got their phones out, get your calendars out. August the 14th, Sunday, August the 14th, we are going to have, after our church service, a really fun barbecue and kind of a carnival day for the kids out in the backyard. I call it the backyard, the soccer field back there. So be planning for August the 14th to be staying here after the service. Another day to mark your calendars is July the 31st. It is our annual meeting here in the service. And if you would like a package for that, um, you can pick one up at the welcome desk today. All right, Treehouse Kids, are you guys ready for today? We are learning the fruits of the Spirit this summer, and we are excited to have you down there. Are you ready? I almost want to say on your mark, I said go, but one guy's already gone. All right, <laughs> Treehouse Kids, you're dismissed.